words can read. Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome to my February wrap up and my March TBR video. So for the month of February, I didn't get to read as much as I would have hoped, but certain things happened which did ruin that and that was because I had a chest infection it was really really nasty the first ever chest infection I've ever had and I really honestly don't want anybody to experience it because it was horrible it was painful it's disgusting and I've only literally just overcome it so that put me in a general slump I didn't go to work because I was ill and then I couldn't read and then I didn't do any videos it really wasn't good but the special somebody in my life at the moment they did make my birthday well worthwhile even though I was ill so I'm really really grateful for that but those are the reasons why I didn't read as much as I would have hoped but I still got some reading done so all is good so I will leave all of the written reviews in the description box below so you can check more out on my thoughts the first book that I read in February was Take a Bow by Elizabeth Yulberg I borrowed this book from Danny from the performing book valve and she said that she was really disappointed in it now because it is about performing arts I thought I'd be really intrigued about it and it is a book that I have been seeing around and I've been wanting to get so of course I borrowed it from her and I wanted to see exactly why she was disappointing in it and I could see why the way it was written was almost like I was a child and I didn't like that it was really really middle grady even though it's meant to be a young adult novel and it just felt like the writing let it down and there were certain characters that really did annoy me I mean it was an okay novel because I do love performing art and that is why I gave this book three out of five stars. The second book that I read was a graphic novel and it's The Powerpuff Girls Volume 2 and this is by Troy Little and I read this free off of NetGalley. I was like, oh my god, The Powerpuff Girls, boy does this remind me of my childhood. And it was a really, really quick read and it was really fun and it made me feel really, really happy and just reminded me of my childhood. And I loved it so, so much so I gave it five out of five stars. Then I read Transparent by Natalie Whipple. I borrowed this from my library and I really liked this story although I sort of had a little bit of a hit and miss with it I felt that there was something missing with it but I couldn't quite put my finger in it you know you get those storylines where you feel like something is missing but you just don't know what but I did really like it and that's why I gave it four out of five stars and then the final book that I read is Hollow City by Ransom Riggs and I really really liked this sequel that comes after Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I received this review and I'm really, really thankful for that. It was such an enjoyment. There's a lot more adventure, a lot more character development, a lot more that goes on in this book than the first book. And I really, really did enjoy this book. So I gave this four out of five stars. I really, really do recommend this series. So those were the books that I read in February. Now I'm going to move on to what I'm going to read in March. I'm just going to continue on with reading the books that I was meant to read in February just to make it fair and these are the books. Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith. I'm really really excited about this. I've heard absolutely fantastic things about it and this is what I'm going to be reading next. Anything to Have You by Paige Harbison. I'm really intrigued by this. I've also got this for review and I'm excited to read this. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I know this was the viewer's choice for January and I know I said that I would get around to reading it in February but because of certain things happening I'm sorry I couldn't get around to reading it. I really, really do want to read this so badly, so I'm going to put this on my March TBR. Carl Demore and the Timekeeper's Key, and the author very kindly sent me to review this, so I did want to get around to reading this pretty soon for the author. So those were the books that were on my February TBR that I've pushed forward to my March TBR, and I've also added some books that I want to read this month. The first book being These Broken Stars, and this is by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, and I've only just literally got this, I haven't hauled this yet, I'm really excited to read this, the cover it's absolutely gorgeous but this is the booktuber book club book pick for March so I'm really excited to read this for the month and I got wait for you by Jalen and the reason I really really want to read this is because there's a character's name that is in this book that is the same name as my boyfriend Cam Cameron and it kind of sounds a little bit like him but I just want to read it to see what the character is like and because I've had really, really good things about this book as well but I'm really excited about this 
And then finally, Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I promised my boyfriend that I would read this this month and I'm really excited about it. I've had this series for a while so I really do need to read it and he said that he absolutely loved the series and that he recommends me to read it so I'm gonna give it a try. So guys, those were the books that I read in February and the books that I plan on reading in March. If I don't get around to reading them all, it's not the end of the world but I'm going to try my ultimate best. Why don't you guys let me know down in the comments the books that you read in February and the books that you plan on reading in March. You can also tag videos down in the comment box below as well I believe. Also if you've read any of the books that I am either about to read or that I have read let me know down as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and I hope you are going to have an absolutely fantastic day no matter the situation. Just keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. That is all I ask of you guys but thank you so so much for watching this video. My name is Katie and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!